I received an email from this particular person and in so many words this person was saying yes I don't serve God but I tell other people about God so what this person was pretty much saying does that count for anything will God allow me into heaven because I tell other people about God but me myself I don't serve God I tell people this your life is a larger ministry than what you say people are going to monitor your life before they listen to you. Who wants to hear from a hypocrite? Not I. I may listen to that person, but if I see that person doing the opposite of what they teach or say, I am going somewhere else. Until you begin to do what you teach, people are not going to take you seriously. I know I won't. So pretty much what I was telling that person I forget what I said to that person but let me say this you can feed 1,000 people every month you can pay everyone's rent or mortgage every month or every year You can cut people's lawn. You can babysit for everyone. You can wash people's cars. You can love your wife, love your husband. You can do so many great things, but if you are not obeying God's rules and regulations, of course, you are going to reap what you sow, but ultimately, you, you can't get into heaven because you are going to get cursed for not obeying God. So, on one hand, blessings are going to come your way because of you doing good deeds for people, but on the other hand, Curses are coming your way for disobeying God. You have no business teaching anyone if you are not serving God. I don't know why people believe that God is going to allow them into heaven because of their good deeds. If your good deeds are not backed upon obedience to God, your good deeds mean nothing. You can only be, of course you are going to reap what you sow on this earth, but you can only ultimately be rewarded in heaven. You can't be rewarded for good things in hell? Think about that. So, and people say, well, I try so hard to do right by God, or I really like blah, blah, blah. I try my best 
whatever. So God must make a way for me or to have enough grace for me, even though I sin. He should have enough mercy upon me to allow me into heaven anyways, although I still sin. You are sinning because you are not willing to sacrifice. You are not willing to give up your movies, your TV shows, your sinful friends. You are not willing to give up the things that are pushing you to sin. Watching porn per se is not your problem. It is the things that are leading you to watching porn. For instance, you should not be, when you go out in town, you should not be looking at women's or men's butts or their breasts or whatever else. You are not willing to give up those things, so you say that it is impossible to serve God. No, it is impossible for you to serve God because you are not willing to give up the things that are leading you to sin. I have written an article and it should be in the description box in all of my videos. So if you want to read it, it is going to inform you what is pushing you to sin. So read it. I recommend you to read it. Let's go to 1 Samuel chapter 15, verse 22. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. And I just want to hit on some things I don't want to tell the whole story here because it may confuse people, but, and I don't want to make this video really, really long because I would have to explain more than just this one verse, but I just want to hit on some key features on this verse. And Samuel said, have the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the Lord. So that is saying, what does God care about the most? Doing good deeds or obeying what he told you to do? <laughs> Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice. Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice. Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice. It doesn't matter how many times you tell people about God. It doesn't matter how many people you feed, what you do for God. If you are not obeying God, Stop having sex before marriage. Stop cursing. Stop stealing. Stop having sex with other people's spouses. If you are not obeying God, your good works in the aspect of going to heaven and being rewarded for it what you are doing is in vain. What King Saul did in this context here was in vain. God wants you to obey him other than sacrifice for him. Sacrifices are good. But if you are not obeying God, what you are doing is in vain. I pray that this makes sense. God bless.